YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DV Kicks. We are back with another video, another sneaker banger for you guys today. Got a early look at a pair of dunks, somewhat early look that I have already released overseas, but these are scheduled to release in the US on February 18th, along with two or three other colorways on the same day on the Nike app via Sneakers Draw. Um, I think Foot Locker is going to have them and Hibbit Sports, so a couple different places. So if you're following me on Instagram at DB underscore kicks, you have already seen a slight early look at these. I put it on my IG story, so go ahead and give me a follow there. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys stick around. Hope you guys subscribe if you see something you like. Or, you know what I'm saying, as somebody said the other day, they got hooked to the channel. You know, they just they said, we slide. I'm going to slide through the uh through the playlist, man. I'm binge watching. He said he was binge watching. So shout out to that subscriber. The support has been very real, so I appreciate you guys sticking around. Now, I don't want to waste too much of your time, as I always say, but all right, so we got a slight early look. So because this is an early look, I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys a little bit more detail. So this is your standard Nike Sportswear box. This is how it's going to come. And I did pick these up from GOAT because I straight up just didn't, did not want to wait. And out of the pack, this is the one I wanted. So Nike Dunk Low Retro. Medium gray, varsity red, white. You guys see you got the little chip on there, all that stuff. No retail price on it. The reason why there's not a retail price is because it is a pair from overseas that has already released. So US dollars is not gonna be the same thing as it is over here or as it is overseas actually, all right? So, Standard white paper, so nothing special about that. And see, I see I scooped them and go, so we got it there. All right, and also, I did not mention yet, I forgot the retail price on these is going to be a hundred dollars, but the resale prices right now actually aren't high at all, and that's really like another big reason why I decided to go ahead and scoop these now. I wanted to avoid the hassle and I knew it's something I'm gonna put to the toe as soon as I can. All right, so here it is. This is the Nike Dunk Low UNLV. Now, first things first, so let's go ahead and talk about sizing on dunks. In my opinion, Nike Dunks do run true to size. To me, they run kind of similar to a Jordan 1, but a little bit wider. So I have seen some people actually say they suggest to go down one half a size. Me personally, I just stick true and I take the slight extra room, but I have a narrow foot anyway. So almost every single shoe that I buy literally fits me true to size. So I feel like honestly, if you guys go true to size on these, you're good to go. Now, as far as on foot, man, you guys see how they look on foot. They look amazing. They look dope with baggy pants or if you want to go a slimmer fit jeans, doesn't really matter. Shorts, like these are gonna be a go regardless of kind of like the style that you, or the style pants and stuff like that you wanna wear with these because the Nike Dunk is just a very versatile sneaker. So a little bit of backstory on the Nike Dunk UNLV. Now I cannot act like I was there in 1985 and I was just dying for the shoe to come back out. Like this is to me a new colorway because I've never had it and it's something I never even really looked for. But when they started loading images, probably towards the end of the year, I really was feeling it. And out of that four pack colors that they had, they actually did like uh, exclusive access today. So these joints, the West Coast, and I forget right now, I can't remember what the other one was, but uh, this was my favorite out the pack. And it just really, it took me back, reminded me of an Air Force One that I once owned. I think it was maybe my first pair ever that was this exact color blocking, but I think it had a little bit more gray than red, but they were fire. They were mids. This was way back in middle school. As far as the details, guys, there's not really much to say, not much to talk about. I more so want to show you guys how dope they look on foot. We'll talk about the materials and stuff like that. Now, you guys can see all over on the medial side, the lateral side of the shoe and the heel, it's all the same color, all the same material. It doesn't get as basic as this, but sometimes basic is just better, all right? So you have pretty much an all smooth leather upper, red Nike swoosh, flat gray leather on the mid panel, red leather on the heel, red leather going around the toe box, a gray 
don't toe box, so nothing special there. Red laces, gray nylon tongue, Nike hit on the tongue right there. Medial side of the shoe is the exact same, all white dunk midsole, all red dunk outsole as well. And the only extra pop of color on this shoe, that'll be the insole. You have a bright orange hit right there that nobody's gonna really see. As far as like my production dates, you guys that want to, you know, possibly do your own research, your own authentication if you want to buy these early. On the heel of the shoe, you do have Nike in that medium gray. Both left shoe and right shoe are exactly the same. So let's talk about some things that I do like with this shoe. Some things I don't, something that I don't like, and we'll talk about quality and materials and all that good stuff. And the only thing I'm not a big fan of about this shoe is these damn laces, man. So these aren't really like original dunk laces from what I understand. I know the original in this pair was a high top. If there was a low, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen it. So it's like these red fat, fatter laces. They're almost the same exact laces that they put in the women's Jordan 1 High. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, how they switch the lacing up, I, I'm not really sure why they do that. Maybe to differentiate things or just to switch it up, but I don't really think that it's needed. It's not a deal breaker. It's not anything like that. I'm sure I have a red pair of laces that will fit perfectly in these dunks or in the future, uh, I might swap them out to white laces and see how they look. So, and if you look closely, they almost have like sort of a shimmer to it. It's just, it's really hard to show you guys. And I know you guys might not really be able to see it, but I actually think if you want to put white laces, I think they'll look pretty dope, but I'll probably just, if I don't wear these laces, I'll find another pair of red laces to put in here or I'll go with white. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So when I'm talking about you know, regular dunk laces. I'm talking about dunk laces like this. All right, so these, they did these like normal and uh, a lot of these new college aspired dunks, they're not doing that. Now let's talk about the leather quality. My opinion, as far as the materials, I feel like the materials are pretty standard. It's nothing crazy. Um, it's pretty flat. It's, it's pretty soft, but it's not like a thick, grade of leather or anything like that you guys can see it but it's it's decent for 100 bucks it's really good something that i do really love about the dunk is just how wearable it is i also really like the shade of red it's like a deep red almost not a burgundy but like a team red it's just really deep um it's not super vibrant and the gray is like a cement gray now as far as the quality control um or the craftsmanship is what i'll say it's pretty good, uh, not many complaints. I have a few blemishes here and there. The last time that we seen a shoe in the same exact color block in this, this sort of uh, style was when Virgil did his uh, UNLV off-white collab or whatever. And when he did the off-white stuff, I hated that shoe because I hated all the strings that went across it. So I'm very glad to see these come back in just a regular basic form and not all the extra stuff that he had going on. I just was not feeling it. Something like this, that's very simple, very solid. I plan on really wearing these, not worry about creases and all that stuff. That's just how I am with 95% of my shoes. This is one that's just gonna go straight to the toe and I'm not really gonna care about if it gets dirty or not. It's just gonna look dope regardless. So these are gonna be releasing on February 18th, retail 100 bucks. They 100% will sell out. And they are actually switching these over to the sneakers draw. So it's going to be a raffle, most likely a 10 minute raffle. So good luck out there. I'm going to be shooting for a pair of black and whites. Hopefully I can get those. The blues are dope too. And in the future, I definitely need a pair of those curries. So comment down below, man, what you guys think about the Nike Dunk UNLV. Again, hey, I mess with these, bro. Like sometimes simple is just way better. And styling these is gonna be extremely easy. It's just a dunk. Thank you guys for watching, man. Greatly appreciate it. We're working right here every single day. Your boy DB Kicks. We got the Nike Dunk UNLV joints in the bag. We're putting them on foot. We're rocking these. We're gonna undes these soon, real soon, all right? And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And your boy DB Kicks is why well, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> And your boy DB Kicks is 
out 